Hey y'all, welcome back to the channel. I just wanted to share uh, with you something that God has been kind of showing me and quite frankly won't let me not remember it. So I thought it would be a good thing that um, he's kind of just put on my heart to share to you. You may be going through the same thing. You may be needing this. You may be the person to carry it and tell someone else. So um, I was doing my morning devotion the other day and it was on James and the book of James and it's kind of funny how the Bible works but uh, James is a book in the Bible if you're unfamiliar with the Bible and um, there's verses and chapters in those in the chapters there's verses and it's chapter 1 verse 2 so we didn't get very far before you know got a good one uh, but verse 2 it says count it all joy my brothers when you meet trials of various kinds for you know that the testing of your faith produces steadfastness and let steadfastness have its full effect that you may be perfect and complete lacking in nothing so that's verse 2 through uh, 4 and growing up in the church and um, whether you did or didn't you may have heard it from someone that did or may have never heard the term but just counted on joy and in my experience that has always been used as a as a just a a saying to well you just deal with it count it on joy and it's not my problem because I'm not going through it and that's entirely a mis or a skewed version of what that actually means um, but so I started thinking about it, and through this devotion, it just goes through and just says, like, the trials that you're going through, and which I honestly believe is true, but um, it said in the devotion, just the trials that you're going through are not, uh, are not a trial that God wouldn't put you through. So that's why it says in, in uh, verse 3, For you know that the testing of your faith produces steadfastness. So God isn't going to put you in a trial that is something you can't complete or he hasn't given you the tools to walk through it. And a lot of times that doesn't mean that he does harm and that doesn't mean that he is sinful, but he doesn't allow you to walk through trials that you can't handle. And I have always, you know, gotten caught up in the middle of a trial or in the middle of that gap to where it may be something where we're taking it's a it's a long season or we're in the valley and just oh I don't feel like doing it today or oh I'm I'm so depressed or I just have so much anxiety about this and I'm just so tired and just excuses 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 instead of just honestly just what it's saying here is counted on joy is the counter to what is our our flesh our body our you know self is is geared towards to just feed ourselves and to feed our pride and to feed our you know selfishness and different stuff like that so counted on joy is to take all of those things that I have so much anxiety I have I don't have faith for this I, I'm so tired I'm so weak I I'm be, I'm grumpy I'm in a bad mood and to switch that in the trial that you're going through and saying I'm going to have a great mood today because what I'm going through is making me the person I'm supposed to be tomorrow and if you look at every day which is super hard to do and a lot of times I'm not perfect at it but God keeps saying what you're going through be joyful about it to count it as joy so the trial you count as joy meaning if I don't have the faith today well God you say it in your book you say it in the Bible that I have faith that you are faith and I put my faith in you today so tomorrow I will be faithful or I'll be faithful today to see my faith walked out tomorrow I'll be joyful today because what you're doing in me today is equipping me for my tomorrow and that is just so much that a lot of times I get into the spot where I'm like super anxious or really stressed out and it's so easy to explode and it's so easy to be negative and God's just sitting there and saying I've already taken care of this for you 
make the choice to go ahead and count it as joy. And so, just an example, like at work, if, if um, I'm a machinist at work and a fabricator and stuff, but like if I'm working on a job and there's just problem after problem after problem, and uh, every time you turn around it takes ten times longer or something breaks or or something happens to where you end up scrapping a part, which is not the ideal situation at all as a, as a machinist, um, or someone in, in that trade, it's just to say, God, you got this. You're growing me. You're building me up to be who I'm supposed to be tomorrow. So we're going to take one step at a time. We're going to take this one task at a time. And I'm going to be joyful about it. And it's so hard because everything else in the world and in your body says, no, you have every right to be angry. You have every right to explode. It's going to make you feel better. And um, kind of uh, something funny that I've, I've said in the past, and, and friends, I think I got it from one of my friends, but God's will is God's bill. And so a lot of times I'm like, God, you're putting me through this. This is your fault. You're t you take care of it. I'm not holding the stress. <laughs> so, um, so I just hope that in those times that you just sh that you look at the trials that you're going through today, although they may be bittersweet, they may be ac absolutely excruciating, they may be hurtful, they may be heartfelt, or they may be heart wrenching. Whether it's a good season, a g or a good trial, or a bad trial. There's highs and there's lows. That uh, wh whether it's one or the other or good, bad, anything you know of the above, just try to count it on joy and try to see the joy of the Lord through it. And um, because honestly, He's just shaping us to be a child of God, and He's showing us who we can be through and in Christ. And it's just. It's just so amazing, and it's so hard, but the, it's so rewarding. Sorry, my camera shut off for some reason, and it, it's the first thing that went through my mind when my camera shut off is to count it on joy, and I'm not even trying to be corny about it, even though it sounds so corny, but and it happened again. I'm not trying to be corny, but sometimes through the difficult times, you got to stick it out. you got to be with it and be about it, be with it, be about it, <laughs> be with it doesn't make sense, but you just got to keep going head first and be who God's called you to be. And sometimes in the very, very hard times, you counting on joy is going to be the greatest witness that of who Jesus is in your life to other people around you. So I just encourage you to choose to be joyful even in the hard times, whether you can't show that joy, you know, through your face and through your words or in different scenarios, but just choose your actions to to make joy of the situation because God's called you through something that you can go, you can get through. He's called you something that is going to build you up, and He's calling you to some and through these trials and in these trials that are shaping you to be the man and woman of God you're supposed to be. So let me just encourage you in that. And I just ask that God guide you and that he starts to show you and the Holy Spirit shows you the little areas where you can start looking at the joyful part of the situation versus the, the negative or the, the um, yeah, the negative part of it. So hopefully that blesses you and y'all have a great day.